Welcome to our YouTube exploration of the pioneering postmodern philosophy of science by the enigmatic thinker, Paul Feyerabend. In this video, we'll delve deep into Feyerabend's challenging of the dogmas of science, his anything-goes relativism, his influential work against method, and his emphasis on the cultural and historical dimensions of science. Join us as we uncover the profound influence of this maverick philosopher on the way we understand scientific inquiry and knowledge. Paul Feyerabend, born in 1924, was an Austrian-born philosopher renowned for his unconventional and daring ideas. He was a maverick, a contrarian, and a vocal critic of the prevailing philosophy of science in his time, particularly the idea of scientific method and its authority. Feyerabend's journey into postmodern philosophy of science began with his radical critique of the notion that there is a universal scientific method, a one-size-fits-all approach to understanding the world. He argued that science should be allowed to thrive in a state of epistemic anarchy. This means that no single method or paradigm should have a monopoly on the truth. Feyerabend famously declared, anything goes. What he meant by this was that there are no fixed rules or universal standards for scientific inquiry. Science, according to him, is a multifaceted and diverse enterprise where different approaches, methodologies, and worldviews can coexist. This was a direct challenge to the idea of a single scientific method. In his influential book, Against Method, Feyerabend argued that scientific progress is not guided by a step-by-step -step method but is often chaotic and guided by a blend of creativity, intuition, and even irrational elements. He used historical examples to show that successful scientific revolutions often broke the so-called rules of scientific method. Feyerabend emphasized the cultural and historical context in which science operates. He believed that science cannot be separated from the society and culture in which it is embedded. This perspective opened up a rich field of exploration for philosophers and historians of science. Feyerabend's ideas were met with both admiration and criticism, but he undeniably left a lasting impact on the philosophy of science. His views laid the foundation for a more open and pluralistic understanding of scientific inquiry, encouraging us to embrace the richness of diverse perspectives. Chapter 1. Challenging the Dogmas of Science, the Genesis of Feyerabend's Unconventional Views, Feyerabend's dissenting views on the philosophy of science were deeply rooted in his early experiences. As a young student in Vienna, he witnessed firsthand the rise of totalitarian regimes, both Nazi and Soviet which heavily influenced his skepticism of any absolute authority, including scientific authority. He believed that just as political ideologies can lead to oppression, so too can rigid scientific methodologies stifle creativity and hinder scientific progress. The myth of the scientific method, one of Feyerabend's most radical claims was that there is no universal scientific method, despite the widespread belief in a singular, universal blueprint for conducting science. He argued that the notion of a monolithic, scientific method, was a myth that needed to be debunked. In his view, different fields of science and even different moments in the history of a particular field require different approaches and methodologies. Epistemic Anarchy Feyerabend proposed the idea of, epistemic anarchy, suggesting that scientists should be free to explore a variety of methodologies, theories, and paradigms without being constrained by a fixed methodological framework. In his view, this intellectual freedom would lead to a more dynamic and creative scientific landscape. The importance of diversity in science, Feyerabend also highlighted the significance of embracing a diversity of perspectives and approaches in science. He argued that allowing multiple viewpoints to coexist within the scientific community would lead to a more holistic understanding of the natural world. In this sense, he was an early advocate for what we now refer to as multiculturalism in science. Historical and cultural context, Feyerabend contended that scientific progress is not solely determined by methodological rules but is deeply intertwined with the cultural and historical context in which it occurs. He believed that recognizing these contextual factors is crucial for a more nuanced understanding of science. Historical examples, Feyerabend backed up his claims with historical examples. He showed that groundbreaking scientific achievements often emerged in a haphazard and nonlinear fashion violating the conventional norms of a universal scientific method. The Copernican Revolution, 
the transition from alchemy to modern chemistry, and the development of quantum mechanics were all instances where established rules were discarded in favor of new and unconventional approaches. In challenging the dogmas of science, Paul Feyerabend fundamentally altered the way we perceive scientific inquiry. His arguments have had a profound impact on the philosophy of science, encouraging a more open and flexible attitude toward scientific methods and paradigms. While his ideas remain contentious and continue to be debated by philosophers and scientists, they have undeniably enriched our understanding of the complexity and dynamism of scientific practice. Chapter 2. Anything Goes. Feyerabend's Relativism and Its Controversy, one of Feyerabend's most provocative and, at times, misunderstood assertions was the famous phrase, anything goes. While this statement might appear to advocate total chaos in science, it was more nuanced in its intent. Feyerabend did not propose that there are no standards or criteria for evaluating scientific theories. Rather, he argued for a relativistic view of methodology and epistemology in which there is no single, universally applicable standard. Relativism versus Absolutism Feyerabend's relativism was a direct challenge to the absolutist views of science that held that there should be a singular, overarching methodology for all scientific endeavors. He questioned the very idea that a single method, such as the hypothetico-deductive model, could serve as the gold standard for all scientific inquiries. The importance of context, in his, anything goes, stance, Feyerabend stressed the importance of considering the specific historical and cultural context of scientific research. He believed that what is considered a valid methodology or a credible theory can change over time and across different scientific communities. Protecting against dogmatism, Feyerabend's relativism was, in part, a response to what he saw as a growing dogmatism within the scientific community. He believed that enforcing strict methodological rules could stifle innovation and discourage the exploration of alternative ideas. Critique of Kuhn's Paradigm Shifts Feyerabend was influenced by his friend and colleague, Thomas Kuhn, who introduced the concept of paradigm shifts. However, Feyerabend went further by challenging the idea that science evolves through orderly transitions from one paradigm to another. He argued that scientific revolutions are often messy and can involve the simultaneous existence of multiple paradigms. Case Studies and Empirical Evidence Feyerabend supported his relativistic claims with examples from the history of science. He demonstrated that even in the most successful scientific endeavors, various and often conflicting methodologies were employed. From Galileo's telescopic observations to the development of quantum mechanics, Feyerabend illustrated that successful science is not characterized by adherence to a single method but by creativity and adaptability. Feyerabend's anything-goes approach is not a call for intellectual anarchy but a plea for intellectual openness, flexibility, and recognition of the richness of diverse methodologies and viewpoints within science. While his views remain controversial, they have encouraged a more inclusive and dynamic perspective on scientific inquiry, fostering an environment where innovative and unconventional ideas can flourish. Chapter 3. Against Method. The Provocative Thesis in Against Method. Feyerabend took his criticism of the idea of a universal scientific method to the next level. He argued that not only is there no single method that fits all scientific pursuits, but the very idea of a method for science is fundamentally flawed. According to Feyerabend, attempts to prescribe a fixed, step-by-step -step method for scientific inquiry not only hinder the progress of science but also ignore the complex and dynamic nature of scientific practice. Historical examples, to support his argument, Feyerabend drew upon numerous historical examples to illustrate how successful scientific revolutions have often been characterized by a lack of adherence to established methodological rules. The Copernican Revolution, for instance, defied the geocentric model of the universe, the prevailing orthodoxy of the time. Similarly, the transition from alchemy to modern chemistry saw a radical shift in both goals and methodologies. Feyerabend used these examples to demonstrate that progress in science often comes from creative deviations from accepted methods. The anarchistic nature of science, Feyerabend advocated for epistemic anarchy, the idea that scientific progress is best achieved by allowing a multitude of ideas, theories, and methodologies to coexist and compete freely. This anarchistic approach to science is rooted in his belief that rigidity and conformity to a particular method stifles innovation and hinders scientific advancement. 
Theory Laddenness of Observation Feyerbend also discussed the theory laddenness of observations, which means that the way we interpret and perceive data is influenced by the theories and paradigms we hold. This concept challenges the objectivity of observations and further complicates the idea of a universal scientific method. The role of cultural and historical context, against method, emphasized the importance of considering the cultural and historical context in which scientific research takes place. Feyerabend believed that science is inherently shaped by the societal and cultural values of its time, and that this context cannot be separated from scientific practice. Critique of Progress in Science Feyerabend's book raised important questions about the notion of progress in science. He argued that the conventional idea of progress, which implies a linear and cumulative development of knowledge, is a misconception. Instead, he proposed that science often proceeds in a more haphazard and nonlinear manner. Against Method represents Feyerabend's bold and controversial call to rethink the very foundations of the philosophy of science. He challenged the idea of a universal method, highlighting that science is a multifaceted and evolving enterprise that should be open to diverse methodologies and theories. While his ideas have sparked vigorous debates, they continue to influence contemporary philosophy of science and emphasize the importance of flexibility, creativity, and diversity in scientific inquiry. Chapter 4. The Cultural and Historical Dimensions of Science, the Influence of Cultural and Historical Context, Feyerabend was a strong advocate for recognizing that science is not a purely abstract and objective endeavor but is deeply embedded in the cultural and historical context in which it is practiced. He argued that scientific theories, methodologies, and even the questions scientists choose to pursue are influenced by the prevailing cultural and social norms of their time. Contextual relativism. Feyerabend's perspective can be described as a form of contextual relativism. This means that the legitimacy and success of scientific theories and practices are relative to the cultural and historical context in which they emerge. What is considered valid and rational in one era or cultural setting may not be in another. The Galileo case. Feyerabend often pointed to the Galileo case as an illustrative example of the interplay between cultural and scientific factors. He argued that the Catholic Church's opposition to Galileo's heliocentric model of the solar system was not merely a matter of a scientific dispute. Instead, it was deeply entangled with religious, political, and cultural factors of the time. The Western science bias, Feyerabend also criticized the ethnocentrism and Western science bias that often permeated discussions about the philosophy of science. He argued that the Western scientific tradition should not be held up as the sole exemplar of scientific practice. Other cultures and societies have their own unique scientific traditions and approaches that should be acknowledged and respected. Historical dynamics of paradigm shifts, Feyerabend challenged the traditional view of scientific progress as a linear accumulation of knowledge. Instead, he argued that the history of science is marked by radical changes and revolutions, often driven by socio-cultural shifts. Scientific paradigms don't simply evolve. They are transformed by external forces and historical dynamics. Implications for scientific pluralism. Feyerabend's emphasis on cultural and historical context had significant implications for scientific pluralism, the idea that different scientific traditions and approaches can coexist and contribute to our understanding of the world. He believed that recognizing the diversity of scientific traditions can lead to a richer and more comprehensive perspective on scientific knowledge. Feyerabend's focus on the cultural and historical dimensions of science challenged the notion of a universal and ahistorical method for scientific inquiry. He encouraged a more nuanced and context-sensitive approach to understanding science, one that considers the complex interplay between scientific practice and the broader cultural and historical context in which it operates. This perspective continues to shape discussions within the philosophy of science, emphasizing the need for a more inclusive and culturally sensitive approach to the study of scientific knowledge. Chapter 5. Feyerabend's Legacy, Challenge to the Authority of Science. Feyerabend's work significantly challenged the perceived authority of science and the notion that it is governed by a singular, universal method. His critiques forced the philosophy of science to confront the limitations of methodological dogmatism and consider alternative ways of thinking about the scientific enterprise. Promotion of scientific pluralism. One of Feyerabend's enduring legacies is his advocacy for scientific pluralism. 
he encouraged the recognition and acceptance of diverse methodologies, theories, and scientific traditions. This perspective has had a profound influence on contemporary philosophy of science, fostering an environment where different approaches to scientific inquiry can coexist and contribute to a broader understanding of the world. Influence on postmodernism. Feyerabend's work played a pivotal role in the development of postmodern thought, particularly in its approach to questioning the objective and universal foundations of knowledge. His ideas have been embraced by postmodern philosophers who argue that all knowledge is shaped by cultural and historical context and is subject to interpretation and revision. Impact on Science Studies and Sociology of Science Feyerabend's emphasis on the cultural and historical dimensions of science has left a mark on the fields of science studies and the sociology of science. His work encouraged scholars in these disciplines to examine the interplay between science and society, as well as the impact of cultural factors on scientific practice. Historical case studies. Feyerabend's use of historical case studies to illustrate his points has influenced the practice of using historical examples to support philosophical arguments in the philosophy of science. This method of analysis has become a standard approach for philosophers exploring the nature of scientific inquiry. Continued debate and controversy. Feyerabend's ideas continue to provoke debate and controversy within the philosophy of science. His radical stance against method and his promotion of relativism have faced criticism and have also spurred further philosophical exploration of these topics. This ongoing debate keeps his ideas relevant and ensures their continued influence. Connection to contemporary scientific debates. Feyerabend's work remains relevant to contemporary debates in science particularly in discussions around scientific ethics, the role of science in society, and the relationship between science and other forms of knowledge. His call for a more open, adaptive, and context-sensitive approach to science continues to resonate in these discussions. In conclusion, Paul Feyerabend's legacy is an enduring challenge to the traditional and often dogmatic views of science. His ideas have encouraged a more open, flexible, and diverse approach to scientific inquiry shaping the way we think about the philosophy and practice of science. We hope this exploration has deepened your understanding of Feyerabend's contributions and the ongoing relevance of his work. If you found this video informative and thought-provoking, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more engaging explorations of philosophy and science. And remember, the pursuit of knowledge is a never-ending journey, filled with twists and turns, just as Feyerabend himself advocated. Stay curious, and keep questioning. Until next time, take care and keep exploring the depths of human thought.